the bombing of Tokyo, often referred to as a series of fire bombing raids, was conducted as part of the air raids on Japan by the United States Army Air Forces during the Pacific campaigns of World War II. The U.S. first mounted a small-scale raid on Tokyo in April 1942. Strategic bombing and urban area bombing began in 1944 after the long-range B-29 Superfortress bomber entered service, first deployed from China and thereafter the Mariana Islands. B-29 raids from those islands began on 17 November 1944, and lasted until 15 August 1945, the day Japan capitulated. The Operation Meeting House air raid of 9-10 March 1945 was later estimated to be the single most destructive bombing raid in history. Doolittle Raid the first raid on Tokyo was the Doolittle Raid of 18 April 1942, when 16 B-25 Mitchells were launched from US Hornet to attack targets including Yokohama and Tokyo and then fly onto airfields in China. The raid was retaliation against the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. The raid did little damage to Japan's war capability but was a significant propaganda victory for the United States launched prematurely. All of the attacking aircraft either crashed or ditched short of the airfield designated for landing. One aircraft landed in the neutral Soviet Union where the crew was interned, but then smuggled over the border into Iran on the 11th of May 1943. Two crews were captured by the Japanese in occupied China. Three crewmen from these groups were later executed in violation of the 1929 Geneva Convention on Prisoners of War. B-29 Raids the key development for the bombing of Japan was the B-29 Superfortress Strategic Bomber, which had an operational range of 3,250 nautical miles and was capable of attacking at high altitude above 30,000 feet, where enemy defenses were very weak. Almost 90% of the bombs dropped on the home islands of Japan were delivered by this type of bomber. Once Allied ground forces had captured islands sufficiently close to Japan, airfields were built on those islands and B-29s could reach Japan for bombing missions. The initial raids were carried out by the 20th Air Force operating out of mainland China in Operation Matterhorn under XX Bomber Command but these could not reach Tokyo. Operations from the northern Mariana Islands commenced in November 1944 after the 21 Bomber Command was activated there. The high-altitude bombing attacks using general-purpose bombs were observed to be ineffective by USAAF leaders due to high winds, later discovered to be the jet stream, which carried the bombs off target, changing tactics to increase the damage. Curtis LeMay ordered the bombers to drop incendiary bombs to burn Japan's vulnerable wood and paper buildings. The first such raid was against Kobe on 4 February 1945. Tokyo was hit by incendiaries on 25 February 1945 when 174B-29S flew a high-altitude raid during daylight hours and destroyed around 643 acres of the snow-covered city, using 453.7 tons of mostly incendiaries with some fragmentation bombs. At this point, LeMay ordered the B-29 bombers to attack at a relatively low altitude of 5,000 to 9,000 feet and at night. Because Japan's anti-aircraft artillery defenses were weakest in this altitude range, and the fighter defenses were ineffective at night, LeMay ordered all defensive guns but the tail gun removed from the B-29S so that the aircraft would be lighter and use less fuel. On the night of 9-10 March, 334 B-29S took off to raid with 279 of them dropping 1,665 tons of bombs on Tokyo. The bombs were mostly the 500-pound E-46 cluster bomb which released 38 napalm-carrying M-69 incendiary bomblets at an altitude of 2,000 to 2,500 feet. 
the M69S punched through thin roofing material or landed on the ground, in either case they ignited three to five seconds later, throwing out a jet of flaming napalm globs. A lesser number of M47 incendiaries was also dropped. The M47 was a 100-pound gelled gasoline and white phosphorus bomb which ignited upon impact. In the first two hours of the raid, 226 of the attacking aircraft unloaded their bombs to overwhelm the city's fire defenses. The first B-29S to arrive dropped bombs in a large X pattern centered in Tokyo's densely populated working-class district near the docks in both Koto and Chuo city wards on the water. Later aircraft simply aimed near this flaming X. The individual fires caused by the bombs joined to create a general conflagration, which would have been classified as a firestorm but for prevailing winds gusting at 17 to 28 miles per hour. Approximately 15.8 square miles of the city was destroyed and some 100,000 people are estimated to have died. A grand total of 282 of the 339 B-29S launched for Meeting House made it to the target, 27 of which failed to return due to enemy action, mechanical failure, or being caught in updrafts caused by the massive fires. Results Damage to Tokyo's heavy industry was slight until firebombing destroyed much of the light industry that was used as an integral source for small, machine parts and time-intensive processes. Firebombing also killed or made homeless many workers who had been taking part in war industry. Over 50% of Tokyo's industry was spread out among residential and commercial neighborhoods. Firebombing cut the whole city's output in half. The destruction and damage was especially severe in the eastern areas of the city. Emperor Hirohito's tour of the destroyed areas of Tokyo in March 1945 was the beginning of his personal involvement in the peace process, culminating in Japan's surrender six months later. Casualty estimates. The U.S. Strategic Bombing Survey later estimated that nearly 88,000 people died in this one raid, 41,000 were injured, and over a million residents lost their homes. The Tokyo Fire Department estimated a higher toll, 97,000 killed and 125,000 wounded. The Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department established a figure of 83,793 dead and 40,918 wounded and 286,358 buildings and homes destroyed. Historian Richard Rhodes put deaths at over 100,000, injuries at a million and homeless residents at a million. These casualty and damage figures could be low, Mark Selden wrote in Japan Focus. The figure of roughly 100,000 deaths, provided by Japanese and American authorities, both of whom may have had reasons of their own for minimizing the death toll, seems to be arguably low in light of population density wind conditions, and survivors' accounts, with an average of 103,000 inhabitants per square mile and peak levels as high as 135,000 per square mile, the highest density of any industrial city in the world, and with firefighting measures ludicrously inadequate to the task. 15.8 square miles of Tokyo were destroyed on a night when fierce winds whipped the flames and walls of fire blocked tens of thousands fleeing for their lives. An estimated 1.5 million people lived in the burned-out areas. In his 1968 book, reprinted in 1990, historian Gabriel Kolko cited a figure of 125,000 deaths. Elise Gay Tipton, professor of Japan studies, arrived at a rough range of 75,000 to 200,000 deaths. Donald L. Miller, citing Knoxberger, stated that there were at least 100,000 Japanese deaths and about 1 million injured. The Operation Meeting House firebombing of Tokyo on the night of 9 March 1945 was the single deadliest air raid of World War II, greater than Dresden, Hiroshima, or Nagasaki as single events. Post-war recovery
After the war, Tokyo struggled to rebuild. In 1945 and 1946, the city received a share of the national reconstruction budget roughly proportional to its amount of bombing damage. But in successive years Tokyo saw its share dwindle. By 1949, Tokyo was given only 10.9% of the budget. At the same time there was runaway inflation devaluing the money. Occupation authorities such as Joseph Dodge stepped in and drastically cut back on Japanese government rebuilding programs, focusing instead on simply improving roads and transportation. Tokyo did not experience fast economic growth until the 1950s. Memorials between 1948 and 1951 the ashes of 105,400 people killed in the attacks on Tokyo were interred in Yoko Amicho Park in Sumida Ward. A memorial to the raids was opened in the park in March 2001. After the war, Japanese author Katsumoto Saotome, a survivor of the 10th of March 1945 firebombing, helped start a library about the raid in Koto Ward called the Center of the Tokyo Raids and War Damage. The library contains documents and literature about the raid plus survivor accounts collected by Saotome and the association to record the Tokyo Air Raid. Post-war Japanese politics in 2007, Japanese Prime Minister Abe Shinzo apologized in print, acknowledging Japan's guilt in the bombing of Chinese cities and civilians beginning in 1938. He wrote that the Japanese government should have surrendered as soon as losing the war was inevitable, an action that would have prevented Tokyo from being firebombed in March 1945, as well as subsequent bombings of other cities. However, in 2013, during his second term as Prime Minister, Abe's cabinet stated that the raids were incompatible with humanitarianism, which is one of the foundations of international law, but also noted that it is difficult to argue that the raids were illegal under the international laws of the time. In 2007, 112 members of the Association for the Bereaved Families of the Victims of the Tokyo Air Raids brought a class action against the Japanese government, demanding an apology and 1.232 billion yen in compensation. Their suit charged that the Japanese government invited the raid by failing to end the war earlier, and then failed to help the civilian victims of the raids while providing considerable support to former military personnel and their families. The plaintiff's case was dismissed at the first judgment in December 2009, and their appeal was rejected. The plaintiffs then appealed to the Supreme Court, which rejected their case in May 2013. Partial list of aerial missions against Tokyo. Partial list of B-29 missions against Tokyo the 24th of November 1944. 111 B-29s hit an aircraft factory on the rim of the city. The 27th of November 1944. 81 B-29s hit the dock and urban area and 13 targets of opportunity. 29-30 November 1944. Two incendiary raids on industrial areas, burning 2,773 structures. The 19th of February 1945. 119 B-29s hit Port and Urban Area. The 24th of February 1945. 229 B-29s plus over 1,600 carrier-based planes. The 25th of February 1945, 174B29S dropping incendiaries destroy 28,000 buildings. The 4th of March 1945, 159B29S hit urban area. The 9th of March 1945, 334B29S dropping incendiaries destroy 267,000 buildings, 25% of city killings and 100,000. The 2nd of April 1945, 100B29S bomb the Nakajima Aircraft Factory. The 3rd of April 1945, 68B29S bomb the Koizumi Aircraft Factory in urban areas in Tokyo. The 13th of April 1945, 
327 B 29 S bomb the Arsenal area. The 20th of July 1945. One B-29 drops a pumpkin bomb through overcast aiming at but missing the Imperial Palace. The 8th of August 1945, 60 B-29 S bomb the aircraft factory and arsenal. The 10th of August 1945, 70 B-29 S bomb the arsenal complex. Partial list of other aerial missions against Tokyo 16-17 February 1945. Carrier-based aircraft, including dive bombers, escorted by Hellcat fighters attacked Tokyo. Over two days, over 1,500 American planes and hundreds of Japanese planes were in the air. By the end of February 17, more than 500 Japanese planes, both on the ground and in the air, had been lost, and Japan's aircraft works had been badly hit. The Americans lost 80 planes. The 18th of August 1945, last U.S. air combat casualty of World War II occurs during Mission 230A8 when two consolidated B-32 dominators of the 386th Bomb Squadron, 312th Bomb Group launched from Yontan Airfield, Okinawa, for a photo reconnaissance run over Tokyo, Japan. Both bombers are attacked by several Japanese fighters of both the 302nd Naval Air Group at Atsugi and the Yokosuka Air Group that make 10 gunnery passes. Japanese aces Sadamu Komashi and Saburo Sakai are part of this attack. B-32 piloted by 1st LT, John R. Anderson, is hit at 20,000 feet, cannon fire knocks out number 2 engine, and 3 crew are injured, including Sergeant Anthony J. Marchione, 19, of the 20th Reconnaissance Squadron, who takes 20mm hit to the chest, dying 30 minutes later. Tail gunner Sergeant John Houston destroys one attacker, lead bomber consolidated B-32 2OCF Dominator 42-108532, Hobo Queen 2, piloted by 1st LT, James Klein, is not seriously damaged but 2nd consolidated B-32 35CF Dominator 42-108578, loses engine, has upper turret knocked out of action and loses partial rudder control. Both bombers land at Yontan Airfield just past tilde 1,800 hours, after surviving the last air combat of the Pacific War. The following day, propellers are removed from Japanese aircraft as part of surrender agreement. Marchione is buried on Okinawa on 19 August, his body being returned to his Pottstown, Pennsylvania home on 18 March 1949. He is interred in St. Aloysius Old Cemetery with full military honors. Hobo Queen 2 is dismantled at Yachtin Airfield following a 9 September nose gear collapse and damage during lifting. B-32-42-108578 will be scrapped at Kingman, Arizona after the war.